has the potential to provide a thrilling finish, Cammy. Yes, is this round three of Chelsea versus Phoenix, or will one of our other celebs emerge from the pack? Phoenix goal to Brown, as shown already, she's talented and full of fire on the track. Lane five, Olivia Atwood, backs of potential here. The winner in the pool has passed experience on the track, albeit mostly at 800 metres. Lucrezia Millerini, she's struggling with an ankle injury that just hasn't had time to recover. In lane three, Chelsea Grimes, a real contender, has to remember not to overcook it in the first 150 metres. In lane two, Rebecca Sarka, she's been 100% all in for every training session and could make the podium. And on the inside, it's Christine McGuinness. This is not one of her strongest events. She will run her own race. This is a... Gather their thoughts. Into the blocks they go. Hush around the stadium here in Crystal Palace. Need and not to panic by the stagger. Not to worry too Sir. much about how far others are in front. Away they go at the first time of asking. And lane three is where we find uh, Chelsea Grimes. And Chelsea already is gaining on Lucrezia Millerini. Those two have uh, already gone past Olivia Atwood. And on the outside in the yellow, on the left of your picture there, nearest the camera is uh, Phoenix Girls are Brown. But look at Lucrezia Millerini, she's running strongly. Chelsea Grimes is looking good here. Chelsea Grimes leading the way. It's when they get to this sort of position now at the end of the back straight coming round the final bend just going into it that if they've got anything left they need to start really accelerating Chelsea is cruising at the moment look at that gap look at that distance between her and the rest of the pack this is really impressive from Chelsea Grimes she didn't get the verdict in a photo finish for third place yesterday it's all about first place today she won't be needing a photo finish for this one. She's got time to look around and enjoy the moment. Chelsea Grimes takes the victory. And here, coming up and over the line into second place. Oh, and just crossing over to Rebecca Sarker in second. And Lucrezia Millerini finishing in third place, just getting over the line. And Good. Christine McGuinness is still out there, Cammy. Here She's she is. coming. <laughs> Go on, Christine, finish it off. And she does. Christine McGuinness saved the sprint right till the end of the race, but Chelsea Grimes, uh, superb performance with room to spare in first place. Lucrezia Millerini chasing her down the finishing straight, but Chelsea Grimes leading from start to finish in this race. It was a superb win for her, and she's down at trackside with Alex Scott. You think you could make it better? Here we go, here we go. Oh, is here we go. Wait, is Sorry, this the full? Look at that. Oh, oh, oh my God. word. God. I've heard but about the wounds for the line. Tomato, she got back up and kept on going. Do you know oh. what I really liked as well? I was impressed with Christine as well, like the yeah. fact that she didn't give up and kept on... Yeah. Too quickly because she was so desperate to win, but she measured her effort beautifully to take the six points. One minute, 6.76 seconds the winning time. A brilliant five points for Rebecca Saka. Lucrezia Millerini rounding out the podium, followed by Phoenix Gulza-Brown, Olivia Atwood and Christine McGuinness with one point.